Hey, my name is Chris Coates. I'm the guy, I guess, who's kind of responsible or to blame for Phantom Power. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, take a few minutes to kind of take you behind the scenes and tell you a little bit about it and uh, how we made it. I guess the conception for this would be, what if Dave Dugdall was making a video and found out he had a haunted microphone of sorts? And we kind of went from there. And uh, eventually it is what it is now, which is sort of a blow-up, Evil Dead mashup. Uh, there were a few basic ideas or a uh, few basic guidelines that I had when we were making this video and uh, number one was I didn't want to do what most people are kind of doing with their short films which is um, shaky handheld footage, kind of the Bourne style thing, uh, sort of the fast paced quick editing. Uh, did not want to uh, use voiceover didn't want to use wall to wall music. Some of my favorite guys kind of tend to be more of those uh, Sergio Leone, Alfred Hitchcock, and so when I was making this, uh, my idea was how can we tell a story visually uh, and through visual pieces rather than explain to people every step of the way what it was that we're doing. We use the Canon T4i, Rode video mic, as you can probably already guess if you watched the video, Manfrotto tripod, Zoom H4n, which was invaluable this go around, a Canova slider, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. We started today is May 30th, and we started exactly a week ago. We started on May 23rd. Uh, filming and the reason we started so late was because uh, I had family coming over for Memorial Day and uh, I thought where else could I get free crew slash actors that I can use and in Patience's case uh, abuse more than anything. As far as the shoot itself goes the shoot was a little bit different than kind of what I thought it would be. All the video work that I've really done has been sort of documentary style, new style when you're on a new story, sometimes you can think of certain visual sequences that you want to do, uh, that you want to accomplish as you're doing the story, but you don't really do too much pre-planning because you want to find the story when you're there. This was a lot different. All the shots were pretty much uh, thought out. I had a markdown uh, in a script. I, um, the, I felt really kind of discouraged a little bit about how the day was going. Uh, based on that first day stuff, everything felt really slow. wasn't quite sure if I was getting quite what it was that I wanted. Uh, and so I regrouped before we continued shooting the next day. Uh, I just sat down and made out a clear cut shot sheet. And uh, I got my brother to just kind of start X them off for everything that we did. You know, close up of hands, close up of eyes, all that stuff. So that we were able to make sure that we were getting everything that we needed without forgetting it where you saw the book's pages spinning. That was uh, a leaf blower that we had just out of frame that we were using to, uh, to blow the pages on that. For the drawers uh, and the desks that go in and out, that was actually a very simple, it's really a stupid thing that we did really, which was that uh, we just removed the back off of the desk, which is my wife's desk. Thank you for letting us do it. Uh, and we put some nails in the drawers and then we tied fishing line or string onto those nails and I just had my brother's back here behind the desk kind of pulling him in and out sort of like a puppet master and they actually did a pretty good job. I really love that last little bit where they did where they have one kind of go out real slow and then pop back in at the end. I, I like that one a lot. And that was pretty much the shooting. We pretty much did this over uh, two afternoons. The editing process that was probably the thing that I spent most, the most amount of time on uh, during any of this. And the thing that made editing so time consuming so difficult is that um, I didn't want to use really any kind of music. I didn't want to use any voiceover. I didn't want to hide behind us as we were doing the video. We thought that we were going to be using the NTG 2 or the video mic pro before we started this and that kind of fell through at the last minute and my good buddy Malachi really hustled came through and got us a Rode video mic instead. Having never used one I didn't really have time to sort of look at what the settings and stuff were and kind of test. There was a very noticeable hiss through just about everything that we did. So what I had to do was I eventually decided as I was editing 
I edited the whole movie silent. I took all of the sound out and sort of edited it together as a silent movie doing it that way. Which kind of worked in a way. I sort of wanted this to be a story that could be told completely visually. But then what I did after that was I took uh, the video mic and Zoom H4 in. I can't tell you how useful this thing was. And um, captured all of the audio later. Every bit of audio that's in there with the exception of um, Patience's track, our lead, when she has the intro and when she's saying help me, everything else, every other sound that's in that video is something that's been added after the fact in post or in editing. It's really interesting as you start editing and you start looking at these things and you realize that uh, even though you had a very specific idea of what it was that you'd wanted, there were certain things that you had to change or do differently and it's not quite what you had envisioned. There's uh, a few scenes that we cut for pacing reasons. There was a whole scene where she actually talks with her cameraman Dave, her brother. Uh, we had to cut that, uh, but it sort of introduced uh, the light that pops on at the end of the video so you kind of knew where that came from. All right, so that's pretty much what we did. Thank you so much for watching, and if you've watched this one, thank you for that as well. I've done new style videos, but I've never done anything like this before. I've always kind of wanted to, so if nothing else, this has really been a fun experience. And, uh, you know, the video may not be great, but uh, for a first time effort, I think it's respectable, I think. Once again, thanks to uh, my buddy Malachi for hooking me up with the Rogue Video Mic. Uh, my sister Patience for agreeing to star in the thing. My two brothers, Daniel and Michael, for being the creepy shadow man and the guys who jiggle the drawers. And uh, my brothers jiggle their drawers. Crazy. Uh, and uh, most importantly, thanks to uh, my wife, who's been really patient, really supportive, even though I've pretty much all but abandoned her over the past uh, six days while I've been editing this. So, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Excelsior.